Hello, I'm Julian from Holden Vintage and Classic. Uh, I'm going to talk about our latest Bellstaff range. We did some videos of this back in, I think, about 2011, and things have changed since then. So we still do the Taurus Trophy jacket. We still do the Brooklands, which is also called the Mojave jacket. Crosby, those are the three standard wax cotton jackets that we do, traditional styles. We'll go into the details of them later. Then we do this rubberized fleece one called an X-Man and a leather Supreme jacket as well. So if we go through these jackets um, for sizing, and I've got some Simon and Charlotte are gonna help me with this. I'm just about six foot and I take a size 46 chest jacket in a Marks and Spencer suit, that type of, type of thing. So for a 46, I need a 3XL, which this is. This is so this is a tourist trophy in brown in 3XL. So just doing up the poppers now. They've got uh, brass poppers at the top, and at the bottom, you've got rubberized poppers, which is to uh, proper motorcycle stuff to stop the tank getting scratched. You've got a belt, and with the later models now, um, the belt has a cover as well. Again, it's a tank protector, so the buckle doesn't scratch your tank if you're, if you're actually motorcycling with it. So there we are, that's a 3XL Taurus Trophy in brown. We'll go through the technical detail in the jacket later because they are now fully waterproof, which, which they weren't when they came out at first. They're still British Millerane wax cotton, made up in Yorkshire. Uh, the jackets are made in various factories in Europe now. They still have the factories in Italy, but I think there's one in Romania and some other European countries that they're made in. Taurus Trophy, this is the your original Bellstaff jacket. Uh, in the old days, would have been called a trial master, but it's the tr tourist trophy and has been since oh, the last five, six years since they've been doing it. So British Millerain wax cotton on the outside. This is a 10 ounce wax cotton, so it's quite a heavy jacket. Brass poppers, brass belt with brass holes in it. On the this side, the bottom two are rubberized, so it doesn't scratch the tank. And you've got this cover that will fit over the belt when it's buckled up with the Bellstaff logo on it, just to cover that up. Straight pocket, slant pocket. It's got a removable lining in it, which just zips out. There's no back armor as standard in the jacket, but there is a pocket here that you can then place the standard size back armor into if, if, you, want, if you want to ride with that. You've got this super sexy armour that goes rigid when you hit it hard but is soft at other times in both the shoulders and in the elbow section here. The original early production bell staff was wax cotton on the outside, lining on the inside and whilst wax cotton will keep most of the rain out it, it's not going to last all day. So the current jackets now are the same construction outside and inside, but there is a Gore-Tex liner behind the wax cotton, which makes the jacket completely waterproof. You've got a nice pocket there for your wallet or your mobile phone, and that's on the inside of the jacket. So if, you, you know, if, you, if you're zipped up, you, it's nice and secure and safe. Just turn it over, have a look at the back. Again, the, the reason that these jackets fit so well is that they're made, they're multi-panelled. So you've got the main back panel here, you've got these two side panels in, then turning over, 
you've got the main panel on the front, which has also got the extra detailing of zipping it in. So it, it's a fully shaped jacket, which is why they, they look so good when they're on. You've got the British Union Jack for the British Miller Rain Wax Cotton. Bellstaff Tourist Trophy. Simon's going to come and join us now. Simon's wearing a Crosby, yeah. which is, you've, you actually wear one of these out quite a bit, don't you? I do, yeah. yeah, and yours, Simon, you're six foot one. Six foot one, and that is a size large. large. See, I'm, I'm in a 3XL because I've got a bit of a tummy by comparison to Simon here. So, and Charlotte, you've got on the, the girls' tourist trophy, and you're, how high are you? Five foot four, so sort of normal girl size, and that's a size, of 12. size 12. So there you go, three of the classic wax jackets from Bell Stuff. Okay, right, now I'm gonna take this one off and we'll put the shorter jackets on. Do you two wanna jump out of the way for a minute? Just once I put the shorter ones up. So the Mojave jacket, as most people seem to call it, is actually the, the Brooklands. Again, it's British Melorain wax cotton. It's made in the European factories. It's got a lining on the inside which can come out. Now, in the Tourist Trophy, I took a 3XL, and I'm going to be awkward now and take a 2XL in the Brooklands. No, the Brooklyn's need is a tighter fitting jacket all round, really. Uh, more of a summer jacket, I think, really, but a shorter one, and it needs to be tight. So the 3XL, I'll put a 3XL on in a minute, and you can have a look at the difference. Brooklyn's jacket, this one, again, British Miller Rain, but this time eight ounce wax cotton. You've got the two vertical pockets on this, so no, no slopey one on this side. Nice detailing on the, uh, on the zips. This one's Bell Staff branded as well. You've got the logo on the buckle protector at the bottom. Rubberized one there, so if you're leaning over the tank, you don't scratch it. Reinforced and quilted on the elbows and the shoulders, both with armor in, which is removable from the inside. This one has a removable lining, which you can take out in the summer. And you've got a pocket here, the zipper, so you can put back armour in if you wish to in the back of the jacket. Like all the new Bell Staff jackets, this one is Gore-Tex lined. You've got, with this one, like all the jackets, a nice pocket on the inside, inside of the zip, where you can put your mobile phone or wallet, your valuables. You've got the buckle detail at the top. Good old Union Jack flag. Some vent holes under the, under the armpits which actually is on all of the jackets. And that's the back. The Bell Staff Supreme Blues on. This is a, it's leather, really good quality leather. It's not too heavy, but it's substantial, if you know what I mean. Uh, black brown in color. Put your Bell Staff logo on it. Typical Bell Staff zip, bottom clip. Two zips on the side. Nice warm fleecy lining inside for your, for your hands. I'll do a twirl. There's shoulder protection, elbow protection, and there's these extra patches on the elbows. So here we've got Simon. He's wearing the Supreme leather now as well. Uh, again, you can see the, the pockets and the chest pocket at the top. Extra leather here on the shoulders and at the elbow, do a twirl round. They're really nicely made jackets, these, because you've got the you've got this extra panelling in here, which just makes the fit really good. And a, and a nice back piece. 
perfect for a calf racer type motorbike. This is the Bellstaff X-Man racing jacket. It's made of rubberized fleece. It's got a buckle at the top, Bellstaff zipper down the front. It's got open pockets at the side with some nice fleecy material inside. You've got two little top pockets both of those functioning. This is the this is the actual fleece itself that's been rubberized so you can't pull these this apart as it were. And then there's a half lining either side. This jacket has no inside pockets. You've got armor for the shoulder and armour for the elbow, both of which are removable. Got the Bellstaff logo on the shoulder, vents under the armpits, padding over the top here, quilting, quilt detailing round all the way around on the sleeve. It's a, it's a wacky material, but it is really quite nice. This is the back. And again, you've got the, the extra flap with a bit of quilting at the bottom in case you're leaning over the bike. Two panels either side underneath, and then your, and then your main panels at the front. The ladies' tourist trophy jacket. This is British Midorain six ounce wax cotton. It's nicely tailored. You've got all the same features as the, as the men's jacket, except for everything's just a little bit more delicate. Again, the rubberized poppers at the bottom, brass Bellstaff England ones further up, all slightly smaller. You've got the same detail on the belt with the over protector. Nice brass buckle. You've got the slant pocket, straight pocket. Good old Union Jack for the British wax cotton. It's fully waterproof and it's lined. The lining is removable to expose the normal lining underneath. You've got a back pocket for back armour if you want to wear that. You've got the purse come mobile phone pocket on the inside for security. Uh, it's reasonable size, inside zips up and it's inside the, the zip fastener. So if you're zipped up, no one's gonna to get to that. Armor in the shoulder, armor in the elbow, and nice detailing on the, the elbow, extra protection with the wax cotton there. And that's obviously the same both sides. The earlier jackets that uh, Bellstaff made the ladies out of were with 10 ounce wax cotton, it was much too heavy for, for most ladies, didn't feel that they, they had the, the room for movement, whereas this in six ounces is about perfect really.